New research out today shows a significant increase in Americans receiving mental health treatment during the pandemic. The CDC study shows more than 23% of adults ages 18 to 44 received treatment last year. That's up from 18.5% back in 2019. Anna Warner's been watching this industry closely and has more of her investigation into one of those mental health apps. The woman we'll call Yvette says she's long suffered severe depression, a result of sexual trauma in her youth. I was constantly depressed. It was just like this sadness, this sorrow that would just take over. She says she struggled to afford therapy, but then she saw ads like these. My, my poor mental health was pushing everyone in my life away until I started using Cerebral. The ads from mental health provider Cerebral promised affordable prescriptions and therapy all online. I thought I was honestly signing up for something that was going to change my life in a good way. So she joined, first going through an assessment like this one. Then the system matched her with a prescriber. And the first time I talked to the prescriber, it's only about 10 to 15 minutes. Yvette says in that first roughly 15-minute appointment, she was prescribed three medications. And in a second appointment, equally brief, she was given two more, five drugs in all. But she says her symptoms got worse, and she contacted her cerebral prescriber to tell her she was having nightmares about hanging herself. And I was scared. And when I reached out to her and I, and I was just crying to her because I didn't know what to do, she said, I don't have enough time. I have to go to my other appointment. I've already spent enough time with you. The next day, a family member found her hanging from a dog leash in her bathroom. I thought I was dreaming. I thought I was, I was dreaming, but I was, I was hanging in. I didn't remember anything. Would you as a psychiatrist be comfortable diagnosing someone in 15 minutes and prescribing medications? Generally, no. Because? Because it takes longer than 15 minutes to get to understand someone's life story. Diagnoses have to be made in context. Dr. Kerry Sulkowitz is a clinical professor of psychiatry at NYU and president of the American Psychoanalytic Association. Psychological diagnoses are almost by definition far more complex and, and it requires obtaining a, both a, a medical and a psychological and a social history. Um, just having that kind of conversation takes more than 15 minutes. But the company's CEO, Dr. David Moe, maintains Cerebral's overall outcomes are positive, as he told us in June. I would hope that, uh, um, so I refer my close friends, my family members to use Cerebral. And I would say that it's important to also see the other side of the story, which is the, the vast majority of our cases where we are changing lives, we're reducing suicidal thinking. Yet a CBS News review of Cerebral's more than 1,500 prescribers listed on its website found only five are board-certified psychiatrists. Most of the rest, some three-quarters of Cerebral's prescribers, are nurse practitioners from specialties outside of mental health. I find that rather alarming. Diagnosing a mental illness is a complicated endeavor. There's a reason why it takes years of training. Not only that, this internal log obtained by CBS News shows Cerebral's own staffers flagged at least 280 instances where one patient was prescribed five-plus medications. These are serious medications that we're talking about. These things are not to be prescribed or taken lightly. After she attempted to take her life, Yvette was hospitalized and says she underwent a lengthy evaluation with a new doctor who changed her medications. Did your psychiatrist now tell you that you, when you were with Cerebral, that you were on the wrong medications? Oh yeah, she, whenever she got the list of meds that I was on, she's like, I don't understand why they would put you on this. But now she says, she's feeling better. You know, other people won't see your face, but I can see the relief in your face. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. And, and I can, and the smile. Yeah, even though, Things happen the way that they did. I'm grateful to get the help that I am getting now. 
Cerebral declined to answer our specific questions about Yvette's case. In a statement, the company said its clinical standards meet and exceed those of many conventional brick and mortar facilities and that a highly qualified credentialing team oversees its hiring and professional development of patient-facing clinicians. Anna Werner, CBS News, New York.